Alright, so, back to this again, another, um, volume review, or not, again, just chapter set review. I will say, um, again, you know, I'm fully caught up in terms of uploading, uh, all the videos should be up, um, so again, it's just wrapping up these volume, again, not volume reviews, but chapter set reviews with the big thing being this covers us from 390 to 410, However, they're only up till like 426, so we just got one more set of chapters to read, and we're fully caught up with where the manga is. Again, a sad day, you know, sad uh, point to reach is uh, now I can no longer binge it. Um, but again, I'll, I'll talk more about that later, because, uh, again, you know, I'll bring some stuff up then. But again, for this, we can kind of get into stuff in this manga, or this set of chapters, which a, a decent amount of stuff happened. Um, probably first thing first, right? Um, again, you know, well, literally the first thing. We got some backstory into Kawai's character. Her name's literally Kawai. The, the again, chick that used to have, you know, again, uh, that rejected to down middle school, right? And she has some crazy and insane backstory to where, like, her parents, like, died and she got adopted by her, like, you know, like, I guess, you know, uh, by her uncle and aunt's like side of that family but apparently she's this like child prodigy so she was kind of secretly running the family the whole time and like making accumulating the wealth and kind of success of that family while also like not really acknowledging them as her family right kind of use again some like and then you know again just some like crazy backstory and we see her do some other crazy stuff like the whole marriage thing with the fucking video, like, that is, like, some crazy, like, crazy levels of shit, but again, you know, something to where, again, right, really, I'd say, again, what, what her character kind of, you know, I guess, strives for, or, or, and what we kind of see more now, given the backstory we got of her characters, we didn't really have any backstory on her character, but now that we do, right, it's more so about, again, just, I, I don't want to say workaholic, because it, it's not even like a workaholic mentality, because workaholic mentality is like, that's more along the lines of you find fulfillment in your work that you don't find elsewhere, so you just overindulge in it, right? This is more like you, like, again, basically you are obsessed with chasing, you know, that kind of like standing, and I guess, I don't want to say ranking, but that kind of, like, standing, that, like, position of sort of, you know, um, what would you call it? Position of, I don't want to say respect. No, I don't even want to say power, but just that position of, you know, a, not even really authority, just, I guess, opportunity in society, right? Again, so it, it, it's something more to where it's more so about the end result, the end goal, and the outcome, rather than just the process of working, so... But again, really just kind of over, it, like overly, being overly on the grind, right? That's a good way to put it. And that's kind of what we see her character represent. I mean, you know, it, it, it's something to where it's like, I mean, she literally sacrificed, she, she, her whole point was that I gave everything for Tadao, now I have no one, right? You know, but the, basically, again, focusing on that grind with the intent of basically re-entering his life. Again, I still think it's a crazy plan, by the way, that she had. Um, but again, you know, obviously not taking it too seriously because of the nature of this show and the manga, right? Or the story. But again, something to where it is interesting, we kind of get, especially because it's literally like, yeah, like literally some like anime villain like type backstory where it's like just some of the most like heinous, horrendous shit like you can think of. But again, just, yeah, but the big thing there is obviously we see her kind of get closer to Komi and Tadano, right? Uh, more just as, again, because the whole thing and what led in, in the whole point of her bringing up the marriage thing was called me saying, oh, I won't marry you, but I'll be your friend, right? Again, adding to the whole hundred friends thing. But again, the big thing there, what we see with that, right, is, again, it's something to where it's like, yeah, you know, so we kind of see her character, I guess, and also with her kind of acknowledging or I guess, you know, actually spending time with her kind of, you know, group of I don't want to say group of friends but kind of her posse or what what did they what were they called her like you know her crew I guess right they they had a word like in the manga that they called him but I don't remember but 
again. So actually, so again, it, it's nice to see her character kind of, I guess, I, I guess get a bit more development. Obviously, you know, it's not going to be to the level, and I mentioned this in the previous one, because I guess technically she's an R, but again, not, not really, right? You know, as it was never a serious consideration, again, but the big thing for her and what we see her is, again, kind of, and it also just, this, and again, I'll kind of talk about the story, like, later on, right, but this late into this story, I mean, they're not gonna, like, introduce, like, they're not gonna make it, like, a genuine, like, con like, again, it, it's gonna be more that goofy, just because, again, it's just so late into this story, right, I mean, chronologically, timeline speaking, they're basically at their third year graduation again, I'm gonna talk more about this, because where I'm gonna end this video is kind of talking, a, not only how we're close to the end of the, where, or at least catching up to where the chapters are, but also then relaying it to where the story is. But again, moving on. So we see other characters, right? Um, for example, we see Ray and then uh, Kira, right? Which is surprising because we saw her and then I'm like, wait, she's wait, Ray's friend. Weren't they in America? And then we see Ray come over. So I guess they had that time and came over, right? So you know, I I honestly didn't think we'd see there. Granted, we saw them once in America, but I figured, all right, that's like you know, there's no way we're seeing them again, just because there's, no, and I guess they just did a freaking weekend trip to Japan, just all casual and stuff, right, Bob? Again, you know, it's something to where, yeah, it's always nice to see their characters, right, Ray? You know, funny enough, Ray is kind of like, I, I feel like Ray is almost like a younger version of Kawaii. I guess more, a younger, better, like, again, the same work, grindy, like, workaholic, I guess, mentality, but, like, more fleshed out since she was brought in way earlier and we've seen multiple like kind of instances and timings of interaction so again nice to see them right um is kind of anyone else i'm thinking of uh we got an arusi asi interaction during the dane festival oh my god another thing so apparently the dude that has like the is like as buff as katai but has like the crazy blue hair is like dating one of the chicks so I guess literally the third dude in the series to have, oh my god, no, 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 wait. Because also the two fuckers who are part of like the porn mag searching club are also dating. So I guess there's four couples, but we're not really going to count theirs, those two. Because really the only two are obviously Tadano Komi and then uh, Narusi and Asi, right? Uh, but again, ju just wanted to point that out. Because again, we didn't, it, it was weird because we didn't get much, I guess... Near the end of one of, I think it was 406 or 407, we saw Komi and Tadano go off on their own for the festival, but the chapters hasn't caught up to that point yet. So we're waiting to see how that's going to conclude. But it's also weird because supposedly at some point they had already kissed. I guess maybe not really. Again, it's, it's like weird because it, it was mentioned in kind of like i don't want to say like a flashback to where they were thinking about in the past i i don't know but i i must have missed that i i definitely didn't i don't know it, it, it's weird because it's like i i we know they've hugged they nearly kissed before her mother broke into the room maybe that's what that was referring to um but again you know it, it that's probably what that's referring to right what i'm thinking about but again it's something to where i just wanted to point that out to where not really a lot happened between them in this chapter but if I had to guess, these next coming chapters, especially to lead up to wherever the series is now, is probably going to have a lot of, um, again, you know, of, again, it's probably going to have more Komi Tadao interactions, and probably what everyone's looking forward towards is the first kiss, right? Again, you know, just waiting on it. And it may happen based on seeing what, again, you know, them kind of go off on their own at the festival, right? But, and again, what we can kind of bring that and in, bring that into is kind of, what it, with the last video I talked, oh uh, one other thing I want to talk about. So, it's weird that I mean, so they're still technically in their third year of high school and they're doing like interviews for college, but they still did those at the high school. So, I don't think they're officially graduated yet. The interviews are probably only for like those top fifty, but it's weird because it's like not apparent or obvious if they're like actually graduated yet i don't recall any sort of graduation ceremony it seemingly be a big thing but i don't same thing with the kiss thing i don't recall but again it's just weird there right with again the other thing being i will say though i mean the fact that you know again we saw obviously in the mock interview right another thing is that we saw comey go through the mock interview and everyone again she did well right but, I mean, from someone who's able to play Among Us, right, she's clearly reached a point to where she can hold an interview, right? 
versus again going back to the whole point let's say she never met Tadano she probably wouldn't be able to you know and we see similar to like how we saw the festival end with them go into the woods we see uh what would you call it um this chapter end with what's what would you call it um freaking we saw it, or that you know at least section end with her going into the actual interview room right for and again we see that because again in one thing that i talked about a couple or in i don't think it was the last one it might have been the one before that but again you know to where tadano he just kind of wanted to be a teacher and comey didn't really know what she just wanted to know she's capable to go to university and now we see Man Poggy kind of having not really a clue, too. Again, uh, first, I was going to mention that, again, Comey wants to do, like, international, like, it's like foreign studies, or basically, or like foreign languages, right? Because, again, with her kind of, in what she said to the actual mock panel, right, being that, again, her goal was to make 100 friends, and because of a person she met, she was able to, right, or at least is able to, again, you know, be close to that goal and ultimately work on her communication, which is why in seemed natural to her that she'd study it and continue on you know try to go to the same university as him obviously with the person in question being Tadano so again really kind of she it seems like she has an answer there um with again the thing being I guess we'll see about Tadano but also another thing I wanted to what would you call what shoot what what else did I want to bring up and mention um there was what 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 else did there there was something i wanted to bring up but i just can't oh yeah if you remember because he, here's the thing i don't feel like i've put it well into words is to why you know oh my god this is one thing i forgot to talk about rumiko again you know man Poggy, and then the other dude their like festival interaction again just it so it looks like the story is really trying to set those two up but again, the, the thing there is, I don't feel like I've put it into words as to why, you know, Tadano's, or I, I, I haven't put it in, into like good words, at least why he's kind of, I guess, special in this show and how he's able to do the things that he does. But man, Poggy spelled it out perfectly in that chapter, right? Again, you know, there, I couldn't have put it like, go, just go look at whatever chapter, the one where, again, she has the, cause First off, it's crazy that she confessed that, you know, she got rejected by Tadano to the soccer captain, right? But then again, she went into the detail, like, why, you know, she's such a good guy to be around and why people like him. I mean, you have, like, three people who legitimately, like, actually have crushes and or, like, like or love him there, right? You know, call me her and then again, obviously, uh, Kawhi, right? But again, you know, the big thing is, and again, what she goes over with that is that it's like, uh, again, basically that, you know, he kind of, he really, like, is, again, she she just go like, I can't put it into words because she did such a great job, or at least the writers did with, like, again, you know, having her, like, kind of speak about him, like, better than a, so just go and read it, but again, she puts his character into words so well, like, again, you know, it's the whole, like, because normally, you know, let, let's put it this way, right, I normally dog, and I have dogged on Tadano, because his whole thing is that he's average, and I dog on lame, like, male MC protagonists who just exist solely as fill-in for the characters. I think it's easily the biggest flaw with these types of shows. Tadano kind of averts that because, again, he's, like, in, again, he's average, but, like, Man Poggy puts it well, you know. He's, he's average in appearance-wise, but when, again, you know when he's actually like around other people that's really when he shines and it's something to where i need to give his character crap for that so but again just also the fact that they're really kind of pushing man poggy and the soccer captain but again getting back to the whole kobe conversation like it's good on her that she actually kind of knows what she wants to say because again when it bringing it back to man poggy right she kind of admitted to the soccer captain you know she doesn't really know what she wants to do she just thought she'd go to beauty school because she like it it's expensive not really feasible she didn't do well academic well i guess the academics don't really matter but so she just kind of doesn't really know and i'll say it's some and i i've talked about this in some of the previous ones you know i'm gonna be honest going into college i didn't really know what i want to do you know, I always just kind of, I don't even want to say I assumed I'd follow in my dad's footsteps or that like it was expected of me. It was just, 
you know, what I did, right? Like, it was what I thought I'd do. It's like, you know, it's just, I guess, kind of what made sense to me. Like, not, like, based on, you know, again, anyone around me. It was just what I figured, like, would happen. Obviously, I didn't get into college for computer science, right? I got in for political science, my backup major. I always put a backup major, right? Because now I have a political science degree, but and I'm, I'm not using it in that career field at all. But, again, besides the point, but... The big thing there is, you know, it wasn't till kind of I got since, again, I didn't get in for my primary, got in for my backup. Uh, Jesus Christ, primary and backup. My main one and my backup, right? Um, and it wasn't until, like, again, I started doing, like, activities and art stuff in college where I kind of figured out what I wanted to do. But going in, I really didn't have a clue. To be fair, also partially because I had no control of my academic career, but that's besides the point. But I didn't know. You know, it just kind of worked out for me. But, like, for characters, like, I mean, man, Poggy, she really doesn't kind of seem to have an idea. And it's like, you know, it, it, it's something to where... Because at least Komi and Tadano are, like, smart enough to be in the top 50 and kind of get that opportunity to go to whatever summer camp, do whatever interviews, stuff like that. But, man, Poggy's kind of, you know, screwed, right? Tadano, again, you know, Komi... But even to them, right? Komi just kind of wants to do foreign studies and, like, foreign language because you know again because of kind of her experience right Tadano kind of wants to be a teacher from his experience it's not like you know this like grand plan you know thought out thing where it's like oh like Kawhi is like I'm gonna be like in a salary like a saleswoman or something and make however much a year like for them they're just doing it because that's what they kind of I guess want to do or what their experiences brought them towards and again, I feel like that's like a lot of people nowadays. Okay, obviously, in the, it's different in the East than the West. I'd say the big thing here is college costs. That's another thing to evaluate. I went to in-state school, had scholarship loans and grants and other things. So I was covered. So the actual expenses of college weren't an issue for me, but I have a total of 17K in student debt, which even that isn't a lot. I'm just making like 200 a month payments for like 10 years, basically, right? Or like 170, because that the, the math checks out, right? You know, so, but I really lucked out. I know people who went like out of state or people who went to go on and obtain another degree, like post-college, right? And like, again, then they take out literally like 100K plus, right? You know, but it, it's something to where that's where like, again, not really, ha and especially with like, I, I, I hate to sound, because, like, my generation, right, I'm Gen Z. I'm, like, older Gen Z, but I'm not going to be, like, one of those guys who's, like, oh, I don't fit into either generation. I'm my own person. Like, no, I, I'm part of Gen Z. I, I'd say with Gen Z specific, because even millennials, right, millennials just got duped into, like, the whole college thing, like, sold by their parents. To be fair, my parents are, are the same way. They're, like, oh, just get a degree. Uh, that's, that's not how the world works anymore. Uh, hate to say it, but again for gen z specifically it's like i mean i jesus christ i hate bringing this up but i still love this game knee stream or overdose kind of part of the i get well besides just being mentally deranged and delusional okay that that's a bit harsh but besides mental illness though kind of the point of in why the character in that kind of turned to streaming and like content creation was that she didn't really feel as though she could do anything else like she struggled in high school you know pr couldn't probably couldn't go to college you know, couldn't work a normal job because she doesn't have those, like, I guess, you know, skills, right? You know, or just, again, just can't really, I guess, make her way and find her way in the world. Again, which I'd say is very similar to Gen Z, right? And especially, like, I was lucky that COVID hit when I was in college. I was so lucky. Like, even my brother, who was on the tail end of high school, it, it like, he, it was his senior year, I think it hit. It was my sophomore year of college, his junior year of high school, but it was like that spring, so nearing the end. So basically just half, it was halfway through college for me, three-fourths of the way through high school for him. So he still got a mostly normal high school experience, right? But if you're like a freshman, sophomore, or high school, that's kind of fucked. Like, or like if you're in post-college, right? I was so lucky when it hit, man. But, like, that had a significant, you know, kind of impact. And especially, like, for all the, like, Gen Alphas, like, the really young people. Like, they're literally, their growth is literally stunted because of that. But, again, the, the point in what I'm bringing it back to and kind of to wrap up this point is just that it's, like, th that's kind of a very real aspect. And I feel like one that's not often, like, looked at. In the East, it seems to be more like an expectation. 
Because it's like a whole, like, I don't want to say family honor thing, because that makes it sound very stereotypical. But, again, it's more like an expectation, I'd say. Um, but, again, you have that, like, pressure there. But, again, you know, it is something to where, at the end of the day, most people don't really know what they want to do at that age. Yet, they're kind of expected to make that decision. Or at least make an educated guess. Have, like, something going. So, that way, again, you know, you're not left behind, but... Again, so I, I think I'm done with that conversation. Kind of the last one I want to turn into is kind of, again, comparing to where they are t- in the timeline and chronology of the story as well as where we are kind of catching up to where the story currently is. Again, we just wrapped up Chapter 410. They're at Chapter 426, so we just got one more session. We're fully caught up. In, but a big thing there is where they are in the chronology and timeline is that they're done with summer camp. They're doing interviews and prep for university. Like, we haven't seen an official high school graduation, but they should be graduating pretty soon. Like, it, it seems like the story's... I don't want to say the story's wrapping up. Again, I said I didn't think it'd go past high school just because I don't know how they would do that. Also, it seems like, ironically enough, like, they've got, like, different branching things. You've got whatever's going on with the festival. You've got the interviews and stuff for college, and you've kind of got stuff more on the social side it it seems like they may be wrapped i don't want to say they're wrapping up the story it seems like it's kind of coming to a close because i just don't really see how it will continue on and it seems kind of perfect with us like catching up in terms of the uh chapters right but again it is something to where it genuinely seems like it's wrapping up which I guess, I mean, the stories, it's been in, cre- uh, what would you call it? In creation, or I guess in, uh, what what's the term? Um, production. Since, like, 2015. That was when it was created. So it's kind of coming up close on, like, a decade. So it wouldn't be surprised that, you know, they might be, like, wrapping up or trying to, again, you know, finish it. Right? And especially, again, since they did end up committing to that chronology and timeline. But again, it's also something where it's kind of sad and somber. Like, but again, that that's really the power of the chronology and timeline, right? The, the power of that is that you get these events, you know, you can place them in that timeline. You can see how much of a difference, you know, things make and how things have changed. And it, it, it's something to where this, I feel like this story told is like, probably some of the like most like like one of the better examples like i don't want to say the best but a really great example of that because like when you don't really have like a chronology and a timeline like again it's because like let's put it this way the only other series i've watched that has kind of had that is like takagi and it's kind of come into it is takagi san but that one, it was very much, I'd say, it was more loose, and you don't really see that. Most of the changes between Nishikata and Takagi, right? You know, again, it's not really about kind of the whole school experience as well as their entire class. Versus, again, Komi, right? Where you see, again, with the whole 100 friends thing and how school's gone, like, and particularly because they repeat events that have happened at the same point earlier in the past two years you again you you really just see like again it's something where it was I guess definitely something I didn't anticipate I'd be kind of coming across him feeling but it's something that does definitely you know I guess like resonate with me there that I do appreciate right and again it is just something to where I guess again it it does genuinely seem like it's wrapping up I mean ironically enough because we'll be catching up right but it, the story genuinely seems like it's wrapping up i mean the interviews are probably gonna go fine both komi and Tadana are probably gonna get into college i mean they were in the same class three years in a row which we calculated as a one in 125 uh chance with the other thing being that it's like i mean so i wouldn't be surprised if they ended up going to the same college Sedano barely made the cut but i mean he could go for teaching english she could go for foreign studies right you know it'd be or like language it'd be perfect you know, and then, you know, they live there. Okay, to be fair, you might kind of roast them saying like, oh, statistically high school relationships fail. But again, just we can see their story at least potentially continue on, right? You know, with again, the, I'd say the big thing there and again, kind of what it, the other aspect being we see at the festival, right? You know, 
they're setting up to kind of fixing to go off on their own, which could kind of be the blooming and blossoming of their relationship. They finally get to kiss, right? You know, again, it's something to where, like, that's really the furthest I could see them take their relationship in, the sh in like, the story. Because let's be honest here, right? This is going to be a crazy statement. They're not going to be, like, coming out and, like, having sex or, like, shit like that. This isn't a fucking, like, cracked DD DDLC mod where the characters just have sex in the middle of the fucking thing for no goddamn reason, right? That That's not going to happen here. But, again, you know, I can see it get to the point to where they share a kiss. I mean, that's literally been something that was, like, you know, has been getting, like, hyped up. And they nearly did. Uh, so it's like, we're not going to skip past that. But, again, kind of the, 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 the big thing there, right, is that I can see that kind of being the culmination of that. These interviews being the culmination of kind of their school experience and then Comey and Sadal getting to the same college. And kind of any sort of social events that go on you know, graduation, right? Any other kind of parties, like stuff like that, after party, I guess, but also other things. We just wrapped up the festival. Again, it could be something there to where it's like, that could be the culmination for that. Again, we got, it, it's something to where it's just, it, granted, I'll have a better feel and better touch on this as we, again, when I catch up tomorrow and make my way to chapter 426 and see where we are there. But again, at least from where we're at at 410, it just, it genuinely seems like we're pretty much like wrapping things up. Knock on wood, right? Because honestly, I don't know how I'd feel about that if I catch up and things are pretty much done. Funny enough, it makes it, you know, a very, I guess, ideal, optimal time. But again, it is something to where it's like, you know, I guess kind of similar to, ironically enough, when you start watching season two, I think there are only like two or three episodes that still need to be released. But again, it's something to hear with this to where it's like, again, it'll just, it's genuinely interesting there, right? And again, the interesting thing there and what we see is it's like, again, just we'll see, right? If they really do, then I don't see what more they can do beyond high school. But if anything, maybe there's like a time skip and we see Comey and Tadano in the future as well as some of the other characters. But I don't think it would just keep on going till like college. Obviously not everyone's going to the same college, much less college. But I, I do think, and again, I made a character tier list. I do think if they continue on, it would likely, we would see those characters. Or if there was some, like, time skip, something, right? If there was any sort of alternative or continuation of the story, it would involve them. But again, I guess with that, we'll need to reach that point. And again, it's been 27 minutes, so I'm just going to end it here. Again, and the next one will be fully caught up, and I'll probably make some black screen videos after that point. Uh, what I might do is go back and read the first chapter. But again, you know, I guess we'll see. We'll see from there on out. But with that, I don't really have anything else to say for this one. So, yep, see you for this one. See you in the next one.